Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to EU3 for episode 23. As we can see, our... <coughs> of course, second I start recording, frog in my throat. Um, as we can see, our empire is still quite vast. We've managed to survive going over the infamy limit. Curse you, game mechanics! As I shake my fist at the monitor that you can't see because, well, it's Let's Play, I'm not filming myself. Uh, eh. I don't know, there's nobody of any actual use here. Hmm. Yeah, I'll take that. And that. Yeah, much better. So, let's see. Something I probably should do is bring my maintenance back up. Sure, it'll cost me, but in the end, it's worth it. Oh, yes. That. Um. I have. I, I have a bit of a money crunch here, having a very limited budget, which makes expansion hard. I have a, you know, fair bit of ability to mint here. Okay, I got a bit of leeway. My inflation's rather limited. So that actually gets me 21 a month. Invest. It does detract a little from my, you know, research, but that's okay. Um... I'm going to centralize. Local pretender rises. Where are you? Okay. Well, I'll just send you there, then. So, at a 18 per month for 1,620 annually, I believe that means I can build another university every year. And also more random buildings in Alexandria. And, mm, enables charge infantry. Can now build arsenal. Yes, charge infantry are in fact better. Um Alright, I guess a counting house. Yeah, alright. Got the counting house. We'll need a treasury. Need a town hall. And eventually I guess we'll get around to leveling up forts. But yeah. What? The hell's wrong with you, Persia? What the hell's got their ass in a knot? Conversion. So that just leaves Gao and Mandara. Then all of Africa is Christian. I really like saying that because it's such an odd concept with our, uh, Al Alamian will become Nubian. Right, let me slow down a bit here. Yeah, help them out. Invest the money. We are now trading in sugar. Wallachia and Wazaju. I, a nice high judge. That's always good, I suppose. We have gained colonialism against Transylvania. I feel more inclined to intervene in an attempt to take the uh, holdings here more than anything. And try and stop the uh, marauding horde of 
um, I'm blanking out here, of, um, Muslims. Yeah, let's go with that. But for that, I'm going to need caravels. And a lot of them. Luckily, I think I have, like, the entire coast now. You know what? Time to retire the Carrix. As well as galleys. I don't need those either. I'm not too worried about my transport fleet. I know that's out of date, but since they don't hold anymore, I see very little reason. And just demolish you. Send you to Cyprus. And you'll build a caravel. It's going to take me a full year, but... To produce all of these, but that's okay. I've got a year. That's all across Northern Africa. No Quorum Splito. And boom, 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 boom. Yeah, you know what? I can just do this. Until I run out of money. There we are. That's gonna be a lot of ships. So somebody told me that um, if I keep ships in port, yeah, they patrol all adjacent sea zones. Huh. Very useful. I guess the patrolling really isn't all that necessary then. I suppose the greatest thing is <clears throat> that it um, means that my ships can't be killed in the war. So, construction of the battle fleet has already begun. And a new era of naval supremacy will be upon me when I face the Caliphate. Despite the fact that my naval technology is still ridiculously out of date. That's 16 years ahead. Yeah. I need to update naval technology fast. How's my culture evolving? Good, good. What's my current master of mint? Alright, five leveler. Um Yeah, I don't have any naval tradition, so. I do need some kind of government, or not necessarily government, but a technology investment guy I'd really like. Like I said, government tech still a couple years ahead. Eh, but we'll go with it. It'll get easier to research over the next couple of years. I'm not going to ever max it out, really. Counting house is done. Okay. Gotta love it when I can't even pronounce the province names. Yeah, you'll go there. Still, we're seeing the revolt risk drop significantly in the area. Not much. Randomly got some there. Rebel sentiment. Fernando Poe. Alright, um... Neo 
Neapolitan nationalists have taken control of Constantinople. I guess they overran. That's fine. Let's get an army there. Converted any. Naval technology 18. Our navies will now fight better. And... We take the old city. For the record, these are actually spear guns. Um, what you do is you pop off the top, and it turns into a little musket. Like, that, that's my explanation. For the fact that my guys are wielding spears. <laughs> Makes perfect sense. Don't question it. Alright, so you'll be docked in Cyprus. Alright. So, select a boat. So that way when I shift select, it'll only be the boats. That are almost done down here. All except for... And... Um, you, you just go into the port. Or you go in port there. We have lost the effects of trading in trigger. Oh well. So let the old fleet get together. Let the naval tech drive up. God damn it, it's not even these... The, the revolts happening in my provinces. It's revolts spilling over from adjacent things and I'm not getting messages for it. Uh, I think I may have to reset my message settings because I turned off w tell me when things fall under siege because that is a really annoying message. Generally speaking, I'm aware of where enemy armies are, so I don't have a problem with it. But I suppose for rebels, it's a problem. So we're up to 33 large ships. Okay, that one was my own fault. And there we are. Hmm. Alright, so we have 36 large ships now. Well, there's the Caliphate's transport fleet. Where is that going? I guess down to here or something? <laughs> I really do need to intervene against the uh, Caliphate, however. It's become a matter of me getting completely screwed. I still have all the ships in um, Sicily to look forward to. Then I think I should be on, you know, even par with the Caliphate. Eh, yeah, not great. I think maneuvers. God damn it. Stupid comets. I hate them. I hate them, I say. Uh, ooh, we're getting a lot of that this episode. How is our culture spreading? Well, we got a bit of there. This hasn't really moved much. I don't know. Yeah, it's not really. I don't know. I think that, like, Arabic culture gets demolished now that it doesn't have an actual country. And final ship in Malta. There we are. Get them all together in Cyprus. I have no idea what the gun calculations on these things will be. Uh, Caravels have 50 cannons. 
Uh, I know the max, the optimum is 50,000. So a hundred big ships is optimum with no transports. Now versus the transports, transports of different crap. Well, that throws off my calculations. I, I'm thinking I just need to put like a hundred big ships in the Straits of Gibraltar. That, that's all I'll need to do. Generally speaking, I think my transport fleet can crush their tiny Mediterranean fleets. That might be a good idea, actually. Also, I need to consider preparing enough troops to invade them by land. I also need to get rid of these. Like, they're good anti-rebel and stuff, but I really am going to need, you know, more per... Uh, more troops, really. I suppose I'm not even anywhere near my limit, I should be fine. I mean, hell, this isn't even properly configured. You know what? Let's configure it. Let's configure it. Let's turn this... into three regiments. Alright, that leaves but a single province on this continent. And then it's all Christian and Iconoclast. Even seeing the Iconoclast heresy pop up in Poland, apparently. Britannia is pretty much converted. It's always good to see. So, spoiler here. Carthage considers this to be one of her core provinces. Maybe something I'm working on in the future. Like I said, it, with a game as large as EU3, it's hard to really program everything <laughs> uh, to happen like this. I've been kind of going along and adding in a couple of events here and there and stuff like that. There hasn't been much for me lately. It's been mostly for the Caliphate, um, the Khanate, and... Yeah, that's really about it. I've added in like three events with the two of them. Or Sweden. Alright, so. Uh, let's see, we will need... Okay, so something I've noted a bit lately is looking around on uh, the subreddit, Paradox Plaza, is I'm actually doing something, been doing something wrong. I generally put a little more faith in the cavalry than I originally did. However, I have recently learned that this is not needed. As it turns out, uh, I, as it turns out, only four cavalry can fight at any given t point in time. So I will be. I've learned that I about this all, and I'm going to be changing my uh, divisional structure to uh, uh, accordant with what I've learned uh, about military tactics in EU3 in general. Um. That is to say, artillery is God. <laughs> I'm gonna keep eight, so that way I can cite if the four cavalry get defeated, there's a second cycle of them. And therefore we're at 23. <laughs> I want divisions at this point of 30, as you can see by basically the supply limit in Constantinople. It's all pretty much above 30 now, so we're going to upgrade our divisions to be 30. 10, 8, 5... 1, 2, 3... 4, 5... That puts me at 28. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll actually be using 11. I need to disband the one guy over here, it seems. Um, I'm going to get up to 20 basic infantry and uh, 8 cavalry. And then literally just pile on the artillery. Artillery can attack, you see. Uh, yeah, great. 
gonna randomly call Crusade for Indian stuff. Good luck. <laughs> At any rate, um, so basically how I have a plan for this to work is because ca these, uh, you know what, I'm gonna explain it after something else. Um, there was a fair bit of opposition to the 40 minute videos, and I think I've come across something that, in two tanks and Berber, sure, that will either piss everybody off or work out well. And that's the concept of the commercial break. And now everyone's mad. Yep, everyone's unsubscribing, just as I thought. Anyway, point is, I'm going to be adding in a commercial break at around 20 minutes, which it is right now, according to my timer, <laughs> uh, in which I'll run a commercial. This will not only serve the purpose of generating me more money because I'm a greedy bastard, that's what everyone's saying right now, I know it, um, but mainly to serve the purpose of giving a break and resume point. If you like two 20 minute videos, then just stop watching the commercial break. Well, you don't even have to watch the commercial at the commercial break, you can just go away. Um, and then you can come back and you have a little convenient point where you can, you know, resume the video. Uh, at least that's my theory, and I'm sure everyone will hate me after this, but yeah. So, I suppose I should say, it's time for commercial break, everybody. Be right back. And we're back. I'm sure that probably was silly if you guys didn't end up getting a commercial. I know only, like, a certain proportion of the people will end up getting them and yada yada yada. But it does provide a nice little yellow bar which you can choose to resume your videos at. <clears throat> so, I can build more universities. I like universities. They'll eventually start getting ridiculously expensive, though. A couple more of them. Naval Tech 19, we can now build Grand Shipyards. Well, I don't have a shipyard in Alexandria yet. Naval Force Limits plus one, interesting. Hmm. Yeah, I should probably try and get, like, Grand Shipyard and all the upgrades here. So first off, I want a spy agency in a town hall. Hmm. Yeah. I think in the end, though, I'm gonna go with, uh, stock exchange here, maybe? I want something that gives me a percentage, really. National trade income modifiers, meh. Local tax modifier plus 50%. Okay, I'm gonna go with a stock exchange, yeah. It's not that I want a stock exchange, it's just that I want the mint. And you can only go over this by one in one of the areas. And a fort level 5 isn't that great. This nor is a fort level 6. Well, they are pretty fucking good. If, you know, you're on a border province or something. Eh, they can be pretty good. Um, so, yeah. Uh, we'll build eight of you. And a whole pile of you. Oop. They're just gonna spawn there. So... A lot of people have been uh, submitting uh, submitting names for um, the name of my colony. I'm gonna expand inland. Um, I have picked. Someone made a very convincing case about basically speaking ancient ancient Nubian and the word for new. So I'm thinking I'm going to go with new. Um, Abyssinia. I I wanted to say New Nubia, but that just sounds ridiculous. This. 
Or maybe New Palmyra. Or New Alexandria. I can't remember what the word is. I'll look it up later. Uh, but effectively, that's what I'm planning to do. Um, yeah, I really need to do something about these freaking pirates. Stop patrolling. Go in there. Or there, whatever. So that covers that. That covers that. Okay. Good. That's covering that, that, and that. So now I just need one here in Sierra Leone. Build me a galley. Which will cover that. So then I built one in the Canaries, which covers up to the coast of Morocco. Which is fine. That's all I should need. The other thing I'm worried about is colonies in the New World if I go to war with uh, the Andalusian Caliphate. There's going to be definitely incursions down here. And I still have a lot of seizable colonies. And if they directed their entire army... That's the reality, I think, of the reason why I'm not going to war with the Caliphate right now. I, I have too much to consider on the colonies. I don't want to give a pile of colonies to them. If I could somehow trap their all their transport fleets in the Mediterranean with the Strait of Gibraltar, I'd do it. But that's never going to happen. Hmm. I haven't discovered that area yet, and that's pretty hostile. Yeah, this is all pretty hostile. Hmm, so is Taiwan. Isn't, don't I get some bonus if it's an East Indian trade port or something? Uh, triggered modifiers, where are you? Hmm... I'm pretty sure that there's uh, a different one that I just get for, like, having... Uh, if I look at the region map mode. East Asian trade port, yeah. Yeah, I want an East Asian trade port. Which is going to lead me to colonize Taiwan, I think. I'll just send as many colonists as I can physically at it. We have gained holy war costs against Malacca. I guess they just broke free. Hmm, yeah, apparently I sent her a trade there. And Alexandria is amazingly big. Ha 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 ha. Um, local tax modifier. Yeah, this is something I need. Cleansing of heresy against Nizhny Novgorod. Hmm. Well, our infamy is decreasing nicely. Soon we'll be able to go to war again and actually take stuff. Ease the tensions. I guess keeping my troops in Nizabin works. There we are. Native problem solved. I suppose I don't really even need the other stuff yet, or my like, colonial ventures anymore. I'm done colonizing, actually. Of course, last time I said that I ended up picking it up again. But no, I am done colonizing at this point. Like, trading it out for Bill of Rights might be preferable. 
and trading out Unam Sanctum in 1650 for uh, church attendance duty. Or perhaps even excellent shipwrights and superior seamanship. Should also consider picking those up. I tend to ignore navies uh, in this game, but time and time again it seems to be proving that. So I have 44 ships. Yeah, I, I could build like a series of ships over 50 years, but. Alright, so let's go with. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9, 10. Ten and ten. So over the course of about ten years, or what would normally be it. So that's forty, I need fifty. Getting a nice load of that now. Excellent. Notre Dame Bay. Alright. So that pretty much seals in my colonies there. And that's really all the land I think I'm going to end up taking at this rate here. I might just, you know, conquer the northern coast here. Up to Panama. But I doubt I'm going to be colonizing any more of that. Once I get the uh, East Asian trade port that I'm trying to get. Gotta take the colonists forever to get there. It really should be the end of my colonization. Is that another big ship? Oh, good. So, we just need to wait for the end of the year, really. Losing a bit per month, that's fine. Monacan. I apologize if you can hear a motorcycle outside. One of those um, dumbasses in a Harley zooming by without a freaking muffler. Alright, so end of the year, that means I can finish building my ships here. And then just build another six here. Every university, of course, increases the price of them. Flanders is the emperor, huh? Suppose that bodes well for them if they get attacked by the caliphate again. You know, if the Scots manage to take that, I'm just going to go for the kill Scotland. <laughs> Like, uh, I'll just take these three provinces. One Ducats invested in land technology. Only reform the navy. One Ducats. Hmm. Element max innovation, either way. Um... Hmm. Can't argue with the quality. Damn. That's for... Not very long, actually. Yeah, like, that's um, army reform for five months. That's plus ten per month. Yeah, like this is this gets me the most technology. No questions asked. I think that event needed to be rebalanced or something. So
So, we need the Anti-Piracy Act, other stuff. Yada yada yada. It's still 11 years ahead of time, as is my land tech right now. And I've managed to bring this up to, uh, basically to par now. Naval tech's now on par, I think, with these guys, yeah. So, if it wasn't for the colonies, I would strike. Now would be a good time for me. But it's these blasted colonies. Oop. Just ignore it. Um, some random person on Skype. Alright, taken care of. Come on, convert. Build level 2 fort here. Alright, I can't want those missionary. Just try to increase conversion chances that way. Our master of mint is dead. Oh no. Commission a painting. I don't know, 100% for good luck. Level 6 Master of Mint. Yes. So what does that do? Yeah, I can mint even more now. Ooh, too much. Yeah, that'll do. That will do indeed. And put the rest in the naval tech. Try and, you know, get that up to 22. Once it's at 22, I can just focus on the others. Yeah, alright, that's fine. Yeah. A golden era for culture. Bizarre. So, Arkansas, isn't that like somewhere inland? Alright, I guess we're discovering inland now. Yeah, the Caliphate's taken over much of mainland USA. This is bad. I will need to stop them. But I need low enough infamy. And I need to even out my colonies first. Send another one there. Grr. I hate using additional colonists, but really, at this point, I see that I have to if I want to be able to mobilize any form of defense of the colonies. Hippipra, hippipra. It appears all of Africa is now Christian. Tobacco, huh? Oh well. Yeah. <clears throat> Bringing in the uh, Brits you know, to the fight, might even give me a bit more naval supremacy. But the question is, do they have enough naval supremacy to... And oh, darn, they didn't take that. Oh well. Alright, so... Cleansing of Heresy... Um, Odina and Genoa... I really need to get, you know... More of Italy. Under my control. Um, good. Keep 
the production up there and get more colonists and stuff. Can almost finish you off. Start using some of these magistrates. Get some forts up here. It'll slow them down at least. If they happen to land there. Armies are building. Navies are building. The war against the Caliphate at this point is close to inevitable. It will happen. Which is why I'm also going to have to separate out my transport fleet from my battle fleet. That's fine, they can be in Cyprus. As we are going to approach 100 ships over the uh, next 10 years. Or uh, even like over the next 4 or 5 or whatever. And then they will be sorry. I believe in fact I'm just building outdated ships right now. Yeah, I am. How many cannons are we talking here? 60? Yeah, I could have less, but it doesn't really matter. <laughs> I'm pretty much getting together a navy to rival anything. Alright, so... At this point, they're just building that. Um, well, it looks like Wallachia is back. But, uh, yeah, it says this is the end of the episode. Gearing up for war, converting Africa. We really do, uh, you know, stand a chance at uh, beating the Caliphate, I think, now that I've reformed my navy, let's say. Modernized it, pumped it up. You know what, 22 is good enough. Um... Now I really need to work on my production and trade tech, get that up a little. 19 is where I want to be at there, so I can build all this stuff. Um... Yeah. Get a stock exchange in Alexandria, that'd be great. Uh, but, you know, that's a fair bit ways away, and I'm not worried. I mean, as it stands, a mint is still a fair bit away. Um... But, yeah. Government 31 will be nice that way. So, we've gotten a fair distance. And, uh, yeah, this is going to be the end of the episode. So, until next time, this is Kelvin, signing off.